All right, I'm the Flat Rate Master, and today we're going to do some quick tips on smoking EVAP system. All right, so one of the one of the things that has happened in the last several years is they've eliminated service ports. You know, the little green cap that you tied in with an adapter, and you can smoke an EVAP system. Well, most cars don't have those, unfortunately, and this is one of them. Now it is in for an EVAP code. I already diagnosed it. Nothing real major. It's a stuck open purge valve. There's a TSB on it, so I'm not gonna bore you with showing you a purge valve bad. There's no service port. How do you hook in? Well, depending on the vehicle, OTC leak detector hooked up, a sponsor. And what I've done is I take a fitting out of my fuel system tester, just a standard fuel line connector, junction block with another open end, you could use a different adapter, whatever your system has. I plug in this into the EVAP line coming off the purge valve. Use a short piece of rubber hose that's the right size. You know, start smoking. And I put it on this end. And as you can see, I'm smoking into the EVAP system. Obviously plugged in, but you get my point. Quick, easy way to connect. Now, doesn't always work. You know, there's only so many sizes of these quick connects and a lot more variants in EVAP systems. So anytime you can, you can get like one way to one way to acquire adapters is to take parts that are bad and cut their nipples off and use a port, piece of rubber hose just like this and make your own adapters. Like for instance, this adapter right here. Now I have no idea what I used it for, but I saved it. It's a big size that my fuel system tester doesn't have, so I have an adapter for it and I just have to use a rubber hose on this end and I can smoke the system. Same with this hose. I think they're actually the same off the same car or style, the same size, but this one has an end on it, so yep but it allows me to adapt to a system with a right angle. The other way, these adapters are sold to replace gas caps so you can go that way. Now that is my least preferred method because then you can't test the gas cap, but it is a method if you can't adapt any other way. And they also have a larger size for larger gas caps. Now these will not work with the Ford capless systems, so keep that in mind. I'll try to link them in the description or the comments if I find them on Amazon. They can come in handy, but they can be also frustrating because they don't tend to stay on real well. Redline also has a kit where it uses a one-time use sticker to seal it on. I've heard good and bad about those. I don't know, I don't own one, so I'm not, you know, I don't have one, so I can't recommend it or say no. But when it comes to testing EVAP systems, sometimes you gotta get creative. So I hope you liked this quick tip. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like it, subscribe. Make sure to hit that bell notification. Hit the bell notifications to get notified when I put out videos, if I could talk. And as always, thanks for watching. I am the Flat Rate Master.